Okay, this is hive number two. This is Karn and Bob at Sunrise Ranch Bees. And Bob's going to be checking hive number two. Tell him, Bob, what you're looking for. The hive doesn't look like there's too many bees. I just want to see what's going on in it. Well, the sugar water is empty. It took them about three days. Here's the hive tool. You have it? No, sir. Couple of high beetles. Give them a new one. I'm really pleased how these Swiffers are working. Um, there's not even a lot on that particular Swiffer. We just were in uh, two other hives and they had trapped probably 10 or 15 beetles um, on those Swiffers. And that's just in uh, a few days. So they're, they're definitely working. Um, right now we're going through these hives and checking on them. Um, it's pollen and nectar. Or not pollen, honey, honey and nectar. Um, we're looking, um, we're going to start our uh, oxalic acid treatments. We have not seen any mites on close inspection. Um, personally, I don't like doing killing the bees to check for mites. Um, we're going to do the oxalic acid anyway, so um, we just treat every hive, every time, so. Body brood, that's not a laying queen, I don't know, or a laying worker. Well, that's also the top box, Bob. I know. So she, she may have uh, moved back down and they're just hatching out. Nectar. We have uh, been in a, a dearth. That's why we're feeding sugar water. Also, um, we are also in a dearth of pollen, it seems. We're um, checking everybody, but we're, we've decided we're going to have to put out some uh, pollen substitute. Uh, they are getting some pollen from grass, um, some of the Road grass, we call it Bahia grass. I'll show you some of it here. It looks like this. Um, the bees seem to like to work it in the early morning when I'm out feeding horses. Uh, they're working it pretty hard. And, uh, but I'm not seeing a lot of it in the hives. and. According to Joe May at Little Bits Honeybees, uh, we just saw a wonderful uh, video from him uh, this week. Today is uh, July 22nd today, Bob, or 20, it's 23rd, it's Tuesday. Um, anyway, over the weekend he put a video out, you should go check it out, on um, how hives look and what bees are doing during a dearth and uh, we were concerned because we weren't seeing a tremendous amount of brood in our hives and Joe said during a dearth the queen will actually slow down or stop laying and it's not nothing to be concerned about but uh, she will only lay enough brood that the hive can support and feed so um, that was very informative to us and it gave us a, a great peace of mind and I would suggest that you go check it out. He had a lot of good information on that video. Um, 
So anyway, uh, I see some wax moth. Okay, let's get up closer here. To show you what wax moth here. Is that wax moth? I believe. Let me take your hive tool. I, yeah, I see. Yep. I see larva on the side over here. Okay, well. I said they didn't look like they were doing too good. Yeah, this hive has been really slowed down, so this is probably why. They may have even absconded at this point. Some, well, there's still quite a bit of bees there, but um, we'll have to see if we can find the queen. And you see the larva right on the side of the box where you hung the frame hanger? Yes. Are you scraping the larva off? Not yet. Oh, I'm just okay. Looking. I might see what's down here first. Take the whole box away. I don't know. That's empty. Can I see the other side? Sure. Okay. See, this is this is the damage that the wax moths do. They make trails through. Yeah, they made a mess here in the middle. Through the. Thing. There's also all kind of little, I don't know if you can see it on here, little black feces. All um, kinds of them on here. Yeah, here, look. Um, I'm going to look at them. Yeah, well. Um, I'm going gonna, gonna to switch boxes, I think. Okay. Take and, this whole and box here, away. I don't know if you can see it. There is actually the, mo the worms, the uh, larva. Can you see them crawling around on the frame there? So these bees are traumatized. This is a frame you might be able to keep. Uh, well, I'm going to just switch boxes, okay. I think. OK. This is all nasty. All right. Got to put them in the freezer. You have a box to put them in, or are you just going to set them here? I'm, I'm or just, put or leave them in I'm there? I'm going to leave them in here. OK. But I got to get the bees off. And so well, we'll move the one. box off and put the other box on and shake them. Hopefully they'll go home. I'm gonna get the. Okay. Gotta, All right. Okay. Just give me a second, Colin, okay. please. I should take these over to the chickens. On the edge right here, see all the larvae? They're trying to get out, so you have to kill them because they'll um, burrow in the ground. And then, see, here's one here. See the bees? Look. I just want to show these poor bees. Wait a minute, let me see if I can show you. They're attacking. They were attacking and trying to drag these. these um, larva out of here so um but they're definitely devastating this this hive and uh so this is a really good example of of uh why you need to keep on top of your hives this was one of our best producing hives this year and it was uh it did really well but we have been it has been 100 degrees here for the past week or more, and uh, we just haven't been able to get into all these hives every every week. Oh, yeah. So making excuses, yes, but it just shows how quickly. But by the time you see what that your bees are struggling 
by the time you just see it from the outside it's uh, too late on the inside so um, sweep scrape off all that dirt underneath there Bobby here or do do like this Oh, he got, he, I pinched him. He got under my armpit. When I had my arm out. all the bees off. Okay, think? well, I, I thought you could just... Well, I don't know where the queen is. Um, she may be gone, Bob, at this point. <laughs> she may have already left. You can, or brush them where there's a, there's a uh, feather, if you want. fly back in. Just check for the queens before you toss them. Yeah. That one you could just sweep. Here. Bobby, you're not sweeping the bees off. You're not getting them off. I saw that. That's why I put it there, so they can walk off. There's a more right there. Done. Okay, that, you know, I'm worried about it. It's done. There's no bees on it. on the inside of this, in the front. We'll just, we'll just um, we'll get that. Can just shake. Now, yeah. we'll just do this. Well, Boy, I hate to see that. Mm -hmm. So. All right. You need a swiffer? Uh, yeah, there's some moths in this box here too, Bob. Which box? 
this sugar water box. Well, the sunlight will kill them. I know. And the chickens and the... Let's take them over here to the pig pot. Uh, here, why did you take that sugar off? Yeah. Okay. I think the queen might be right here. Oh, great. No, I don't see her. Right. Here. Seat, Where's your. S here. No, but I mean, I thought I cleaned it, and then I just saw that big black one crawling across. There you go. Ooh, ants. Uh, that you can't, you can't worry about. Something wrong with this eye. Mm -hmm. Very little activity. activity. And there's a lot on here coming out of these frames. Woo! Well, hopefully we'll give you an update and see if what we did makes a difference on hive number two. Thanks for watching Sunrise Ranch Bees. Be blessed.